OneCoin fraud co-founder pleads guilty and faces 60 years in prison. Welcome to CryptoLink channel. If you love getting news and updates about cryptocurrency, join our community by subscribing to our channel. You can tap the bell icon to never miss our new videos. If you enjoy our channel, kindly like and share it with your friends. December 19, 2022. Cointelegraph posted a tweet stating, the co-founder of the OneCoin crypto scam, which swindled an estimated $4 billion from investors, was paid over $20 million per month for his part in the scheme. He pleaded guilty to multiple fraud charges and faces 60 years in prison. OneCoin's co-founder Carl Sebastian Greenwood, who admitted guilt to several counts brought by the U.S. Department of Justice or DOJ, faces up to 60 years in jail. OneCoin is a multi-billion dollar fraud scam involving cryptocurrencies. The Department of Justice reported on December 16 that Greenwood entered a guilty plea to counts of wire fraud, conspiracy to commit wire fraud, and conspiracy to launder money, each of which carries a maximum possible sentence of 20 years in prison. In contrast to the fact that OneCoin tokens were totally worthless, U.S. Attorney Damian Williams stated that Greenwood operated one of the largest worldwide fraud schemes ever committed and promoted the cryptocurrency as a Bitcoin killer. Here's Johnny. Greenwood and CryptoQueen Ruja Ignatova formed the Bulgarian firm OneCoin, which promoted the same named cryptocurrency. Before it was founded in 2014, emails between the two that were discovered by the DOJ claimed that the two referred to it as a trashy coin. It presented itself as a multi-level marketing company, with members earning commissions for the sale of cryptocurrency packages that supposedly included one coin and the opportunity to mine more coins. Only on the exclusive Skoinx exchange may one coin be converted into fiat currency. In actuality, the scam was a combination of a pyramid and a Ponzi scheme since participants could bring in new members without having to provide a real good or service, and later participants received payment from earlier participants. The DOJ claims that Greenwood was the global master distributor of the fake cryptocurrency enterprise, making around $21.2 million or 20 million euros every month. OneCoin is claimed to have defrauded the 3 million buyers of the packages out of almost $4 billion. In June, Ignatova's involvement in the plan led to her inclusion on the Federal Bureau of Investigations list of the 10 most sought suspects. Her latest known travels to Athens, Greece, were in October of 2017. She remains at loose. Williams stated that Greenwood's plea sends a strong message that no matter how large or experienced you are, the DOJ is going after everyone who wants to abuse the cryptocurrency industry through fraud. On April 5, 2023, Greenwood is scheduled to receive his sentence by District Judge Edgardo Ramos. Authorities in several countries have filed accusations against those connected to OneCoin and Ignatova. Three of their accomplices are being prosecuted in Germany for money laundering and fraud. December 22, 2022. Another tweet from Cointelegraph indicated, Amazon gets into NFT by producing a new series. Unexpected? It's just the tip of the iceberg in our latest Nifty News. Here up the latest December Nifty News. A new Amazon series called NFT Me covers worldwide NFT disruption and culture. The NFT culture, as well as how NFTs have changed industries, are explored in NFT Me, a new series of documentaries on Amazon. In the program, artists, influencers, collectors, and professionals illustrate how NFTs have impacted their life. The producers claim that they want the program to emerge as the MTV of NFTs and to offer reliable information on the subject. It will explain NFTs in a straightforward manner and introduce viewers to the potential of Web3. The director claims that NFTs and soulbound tokens characterize Web3 filmmaking. One film director thinks that tools such as soulbound tokens, which are digital identity tokens that reflect a person or an organization, and NFTs, which are digital currency tokens, might assist cinema in a variety of ways as Web3 spreads to many industries, including the film industry. Stephen Fung, the director of the Web3 film Departed Apes, discussed his opinion on using Web3 capabilities into filmmaking in an interview with Cointelegraph. 
Fung claims that there are several possible connections between film and Web3, including fan participation in movies screened in the metaverse and Web3-based characters appearing in movies. Family-friendly NFTs attract young people to Web3 in the next years. The two largest difficulties with Web3 are adoption and onboarding. The NFT space may, however, overcome the adoption barrier by producing projects family-friendly. Jeremy Fisher, the creator of NFT project Lucky Ducky, expressed to Cointelegraph his opinion that presenting NFTs and Web3 concepts to children is an excellent method to promote adoption. NFTs may also be an excellent method for teaching youngsters about investing, even though parents can manage purchasing and selling assets. Trump's strange SimpDAO NFT collection bewilders the community. Donald Trump, a former president of the United States, has disclosed his NFT initiative via the social media network Truth Social. The 45th president unveiled a set of 45,000 NFT cards that featured him wearing different clothes. Numerous individuals responded to the NFT drop, some called the effort a SimpDAO, a term for devoted fans known as simps who would seize any chance to express their support and admiration for their idols. According to a Comic-Con expert, the essential element for NFT initiatives to succeed is storytelling. The creator of Qmite NFT, Garib Seamus, has spoken on the NFT Steez podcast with Cointelegraph about how NFT projects may interact with their communities through storytelling. Seamus claimed that his involvement made it possible for him to communicate with billions of people worldwide. Learn how soulbound tokens and non-fungible tokens might benefit Web3 movies in this week's newsletter. The latest Amazon documentary highlights how family-friendly NFTs might encourage youngsters to use Web3. The executive added that Web3 encourages significant engagement and enables for the expression of storytelling from several different points of view. Seamus added that the Qmite NFT project is a place where individuals may take on heroic roles throughout their journeys. Manchester United Football Club and Clever Apes Fraud Recently, the Manchester United Football Club debuted their NFT line on the Tezos blockchain. To collect the NFTs from the initial drop, all you needed was a Tezos wallet. In the meantime, a month-long phishing and social engineering scheme has resulted in the theft of 14 bored apes. They provided an offer for the NFTs and guided the victim to a fraudulent NFT platform in which they were requested to sign a contract, resulting in wallet drain. They did this through fake pitches, fake website, legal contracts, and other sophisticated deception, including Twitter spaces, to give them the appearance of legitimacy. That's it for our today's video. So, what can you say about the news? Let us know about it in the comments section down below. Thanks for tuning in to CryptoLink. We are always excited to provide you with news and updates about cryptocurrency and if you like this video, please click the like button. See you on the next one.